Hey, welcome back. Now today we're diving into how you can leverage Microsoft Copilot in Excel to handle conditional statements. Now, my name is Victor Cuevas and I'm the founder of The Knowledge Jar. In this channel, you learn about how to use AI for your business, job, or personal use. Now, I appreciate a like and a subscribe to help get the video out to others and also check out the free resources in the comment section below. So let's get started. Excel conditional statements allow you to perform calculations or actions based on whether a specified conditions are met. Now these functions enable you to create dynamic formulas that can adapt to changing data, making spreadsheets more powerful and flexible for data analysis and decision making. So let's head over to Excel to show some examples. All right, we have a list of employees with their performance ratings and their current salaries. Now, let's say we want to estimate the raise for each employee. This is all based on the performance score of the employee. Right now, the employee score ranges from, let's look here, one, two, three, and four. So one through four. Now here's the condition. If the employee has a rating of one, then there's no raise. If the employee has a rating of two, then there's a 2% raise. If the employee has a rating of three, then a 4% raise. And if the employee has a rating of four, then we're gonna give a 6% raise. And finally, the employee must be active. Now, if I was gonna do this manually, what I would do is I can go ahead and insert a column here. I'm gonna call this raise dollar amount right there. And this is the formula I would use. Bring this down, you can see I'm using an if and score equals four, employee status is active, salary is 0 0.06, and then if score is three, employee status is active, salary is times 0 0.04, and if score is equal to two, employee status is active, salary is 0 0.02, and if none of those conditions, this is zero. Now, this is a pain. So how could Copilot handle this? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enable Copilot by clicking the Copilot button on the top right of the ribbon bar. So click it. In the prompt window, let's add a prompt. My prompt is create a column raise copilot based on this logic. If the employee has a rating of one, then no raise. If the employee has a rating of two, then 2% 2 raise. If the employee has a rating of three, then 4% raise. And finally, if the employee has a rating of four, then 6%. We're using the score column for rating and the raise is applied to the salary column. Finally, the employee status must be active. So hit execute. Great, now I'm gonna scroll to the top and we can review the logic used to build a new raise co-pilot column. So here, determine the raise amount for each employee based on their performance score. If the employee is active, the raise is calculated as a percentage of their salary with higher scores receiving higher percentages. And if the employee is not active, the raise is set to zero. Now this makes sense. Scroll down a little bit. Now this is something I never considered using the choose function in a if statement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and insert this column, scroll down, insert column, go ahead and cut and paste, insert cut cells right here. Now I'm gonna do a sanity check. I'm gonna add a column right here, insert. We'll call this raise check. And all I'll do is say equals raise is equal to raise copilot. And what we're looking for is for false and all the data matches. Nice job, Copilot. So let's try another example. I'm gonna head over to the positions worksheet. So sometimes we need to gather information from other worksheets. Add conditional logic to the mix and you may be on YouTube for a while. This worksheet position provides all the available positions for a company. Each position has an assigned position ID. Now our goal is to find out how many active employees are there for each position. Now this would require pulling data from the employee worksheet. Let's see if Copilot can make our job easier. Now in the prompt, I'm gonna enter, create a column number of employees that calculates the count of active unique employees for each position ID. I'll hit execute. Okay, I can scroll up. And we have the logic for the number employee column. So it counts the number of active employees in each position by matching the position ID in this table with the position ID in the employees table and filtering for those with an active employment status. Scroll down just a little more. Nice, it's using the count if s function to get the data. Now, many times these functions are not well known by end users. This is a lifesaver. I'm gonna go ahead and add this column. Now let's do a sanity check. You can see right here, 
we have 207 employees. Now I'll head over to the employees worksheet and let's go ahead and look for employee status and let's only choose active. You see right here, we have 207 records, bingo. Now in the next lesson, we're gonna cover what many find scary, the lookup function. I'll see you in the next lesson.